the other day i was counseling with a lady that, that's some time ago like six years ago we're not in this building yet and um i think i arrested her in service i arrested her by the holy ghost and after the arrest uh, she was found to be i've been in the deliverance ministry for many years so if i see how difficult it is for me to cast out a spirit i know what kind of spirit it is the most difficult spirit that is in my own practice of deliverance the most difficult spirit there is for me to cast out is a spirit of sexual perversion when you find someone that is a lesbian someone that is a homosexual now i've been in the corridor of deliverance for a very long time so i noticed that she was oozing with a foul smell in the congregation and that smell is not physical all right so i picked it up i traced it to the lady and i commanded the spirit to come out so i saw the same reaction in her as i used to see in people that had do you understand that so i invited her to the office and i i began to interview her i said you are a lesbian she said yeah she didn't deny that i said okay how many of you what what is the number of les lesbians on Benin state university campus at the time which is six years ago she said uh, about 550. about what so those 550 people are common that's the normal usage of do you understand that but when you step into holiness you become what different when you step into holiness you become set apart your body is no longer available for plunder you are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. And because you are a warehouse for the Holy Spirit, your body is sacred. Your body cannot be common. Your body cannot be available. The implication of being separate, the implication of being different, the implication of being set apart is a huge implication the other day i was those days i'm talking about 20 something years ago i was i just came into the room my two roommates were talking about how many women they've slept with under various circumstances and situations and um they now asked me how many have you explored i said no i've not explored i know yeah, you guys say, no, you are getting it wrong. I'm different. I'm set apart. Are you there? I'm not common. I'm not in the market. You are getting it wrong. Because if you don't know that you are a vessel of God, those people that are into immorality might make you think that you are missing something. I assure you, you are missing nothing. What you are missing is HIV. You are missing... Okay, go. So. I am separate. Please tell, speak to yourself. I am separate. I am different. And I am set apart. Only God can operate me. Only God can use me. I'm not available for public use. I'm not available for common use. I am separated entirely to God. So I began to teach on holiness, teach them holiness. And I made them understand that in terms of, of cerebral and lingual power, I, I best them. I am far more cerebral than them. I'm far more equipped in lingual powers than them so my ability to convince people exceeds this a hundred times but i don't use my resources to achieve such things because i am different and i began to teach them about difference that part of the evidences that show that you have met with god is that he leaves you different 
your own specimen becomes an isolated case that is different from what is con what is available what is known because you are set apart for god in fact your expression are you with me your expression in this matter because it is god that will eventually use you so you are set apart for a specific purpose in god and it is for that purpose alone that you are suitable you are not suitable for any other purpose apart for that which you are set apart to accomplish in god so when i finished the lecture they felt terrible i didn't ask them to give their life to christ i I, I left them to think about the state of being common and the state of being set apart. So it's in the eternal purpose of God that we will be holy, we'll be set apart entities, we'll be functionaries that are, 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 can only be used by God. That's the way and the only way God's eternal purpose will be accomplished. If each believer becomes set apart, and he recognizes that it's a vessel that only God can operate. Trust me, trust me. Huh? You are going to find Satan on the rampage trying to apply your beauty to accomplish something that is not within the scope of being set apart. There are many beautiful ladies in this place. Satan will tell you that the, the current market value of your beauty in the market in the common place, it will give you an insight into how valuable you are in terms of Naira and Kobo in the marketplace. But unfortunately for Satan, you are not common. Except it, it downs on you that you are not common, you will find yourself in the rat race of the market, of the common place. I am not common. I am not going to be used to achieve something that is not captured in the purpose of God. The reason why God had to exercise his authority is will be realized that his, his authority was exercised to choose me in him before the foundation of the world. That effort of God is going to be jeopardized if I don't turn out to become separate, if I don't turn out to become different, and if I don't turn out to become what? Set apart. Satan will fight to ensure that you are not different. He will fight to ensure that you are not separate. He will fight to ensure that you are not what? Set apart. When he sees that you are holding on to your conviction, he will bring people to preach to you. Just like my roommate, we were two preachers, and then we now became roommates. He is more senior to me in preaching so he called me and said shut up sit down i want to teach you ministry so i was listening to him he said no man can solve the problem of fornication <laughs> this is a this is a lecture <laughs> this is a lecture this is an intentional lecture it, it say, he said no man can solve the problem of fornication. So what you do is you fornicate, but hide it. Because the day you are caught, the anointing will leave you. As long as you can keep it secret, the anointing will cooperate with you. Everything will cooperate with you. God will cooperate with you. Satan will cooperate. But the day you are caught, nobody will cooperate with you. Everything will work against you. So that's the secret of ministry. You can fornicate. You can become common. Common in your secret life, then you 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 disguise, you act as though you were separate in your public life. When your life in secret is a contradiction with what you display in public, what you are is false. What you are is what? A man's false ministry begins when he begins to violate. The principle of being different, of being separate, and of being set apart. The moment you begin to violate that, there is nothing you do in the open that is right. 
because fundamentally you are in digression from the expectation that God had in mind when he decided to exercise his authority before the foundations of the world to include you in Christ. That effort that he made is with the hope that you will decide to be separate. The moment you decide to be separate, the effort he made will become visible for all to see that this one is not common. This one belongs to me. This one doesn't have any other assignment other than the assignment that I assigned to him. Do you get that idea? So this is the policy. This is the revelation of that position that was on the heart of God before the foundation of the world. He wants to have functionaries that are holy. So because this was God's plan, all the strategies that God put in place were deployed to achieve this holiness. 